Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon on my Primetime Walkthrough channel here with another Pokemon Black walkthrough. We're in the Moor of Icarus, just south of, actually just north of Route 8, and we've explored most of the Moor except for the west corner, so we're going to do that now. We're going to use Strength to get over there. There is two items in there we can get and then one trainer to battle. Then we'll head back to Route 8. So you're going to have to use Surf here. To surf around those logs or stepping stones. So there's the item. And you can see the other item to the northwest of the screen. They have Carbos. Here's our first battle in this video. Parasol Lady Mariah. Two Pokemon. Frillish is the first, so I'm going to have to put Cabalion in and use Iron Head. So I'll switch out to Cabalion right away. Cabalion's level 43. Ominous Wind won't be very effective. And I'll use Iron Head. Should get it about halfway. It's not very effective, but it'll get us half. It'll get it halfway. There we go. Another Frillish, so I'll keep Cobalion in. Good, it flinched, so I can just keep attacking. Two turns in a row. There we go, so this Parasol Lady Mariah should be defeated. So that's all the trainers we need to battle in the Moor of Icarus. But now we'll go up here, and we'll get this item. Ultra Ball. And we'll head back. We'll just surf across here. We'll head back to Route 8, and then battle the rest of the trainers. So now we want to go back over this way. There's a couple more trainers here, as you can see. I just obtained TM42. Fake facade, and then there's a trainer here. There's two more trainers to go to. If I could make it around the water, so this is Fisherman Bruce, and then we have Parasol Lady Lumi to battle. And then right behind the sign for Route Eight, there's a Parasol Lady there, and she'll give you an item depending on the time of day. Slash. So when I go to the parasol lady, she gives you a damp rock in the morning, heat rock during the afternoon, and a smooth rock in the evening, and an icy rock at night. So two basculin here. And then right before you try and go on the two blind bridge, Bianca will show up, so we'll have to battle her soon. But there's a parasol lady I was talking about up to the right up there. Alamamala. Slash doesn't actually work that good against it, but we'll use it anyways. Hopefully it'll get a critical hit and knock it out in one turn. Nope. Wake up slap, not a big deal. Uh, one more Pokemon and then it should be... Samurai should level up once I defeat one more Pokemon. So 
also heat rock since it's the afternoon. So you can go here every day and get a different rock. Now I'm going to try and go in here and Bianca should catch me. Prime. Now she wants to battle. Bianca has four Pokemon, level 38 Stoutland, 38 Simisage, 40 Embor, and then 38 Musharna. So it shouldn't be a problem. Stoutlands first. You know, you surf against that. Ooh, my attack was cut in half. Still able to knock it out in one move. Oh, that's good right there. Level up to 66. Simisage next. I'll use Slash against that. I wish I had Ice Beam, but not yet. Once I do get it, I'll put it on Samurai right away. Instead of Waterfall, probably. And I'd like to get a better move than... Um... Revenge on there for a fighting type move. Ooh, he's full restore. Oh, another full restore. Bianca must be rich buying all those full restores. And once I do beat Bianca, she'll give me a full restore, I believe. It's my last slash move, so I better knock it out. So a full restore both clears your Pokemon of any special conditions and it restores your HP, which is very good. I'll use Surf against Enbor. There we go, super effective. Should get a lot of experience points here. And then Musharna, level 38 Musharna. I'll use Surf against that as well. It's alerted to Surf. And I'll use Waterfall to finish it off. There we go. Defeated Bianca. 4,000 in winning. So I'm amazing. Now I can head on the two blind bridge. It's basically a strong bridge made of steel. And near the exit on Two Blind Bridge, Getsis will be there. And he'll compliment me on obtaining the Light Stone. So then every Friday evening and night, lots of bikers and roughnecks appear on the bridge. So, and if you beat the underling Morgan and the boss Jeremy, they'll change the name of their group to the name of your lead Pokemon. So we'll just pass through here. And we'll go on the bridge. As you can see, the subway's right below it. We'll talk to some of these people. Probably should get off my bike. So that's talking about the bikers that are on the bridge Friday nights. Oh, there's Getsis right there, and Team Plasma just appeared right behind me. And I already sort of summarized what Getsus will be talking about. That I obtained the light stone and then he's going to lecture me about his plans. And then leave. And then I'm going to go north towards Route 9. There's quite a few trainers and items to get on here. 
on Route 9. And on Route 9, there's a shopping mall. It's called Shopping Mall 9, so I'll have to check that out. There's also an area you can get to later on in the game. I'll talk to you about that as well. Now we can continue to Route 9. So now TM-56 is flung at you. There it is. Fling is flung at you. So there's that. And then we can also stop by the Shopping Mall 9, which will do that. And then Challenge Cave is what it's called that you can't enter yet. You can enter this cave after finishing the main story. So we'll just start battling some trainers here. And then in the next part, we'll go into the shopping mall. So right now, you can ride, go against this biker. Biker Philip. So there's basically five trainers on this path in the shopping mall nine. We have Croc Rock. We'll just use Surf on it. Should be super effective. Scraggy's next. Please waterfall on that. And you can actually obtain an. Thunderstone on Route 9. I PP up and HP up and a full restore. So that's, I think, where we're going to end. Let the biker go through. But that's where we're going to end this part of the walkthrough. You can see two more trainers we're going to battle. The, the hooligans to the right, and then the straight ahead is Roughneck Reese. So this must be a rough area, Route 9. And then we're going to head to the shopping mall. Battle a couple more trainers and then head to Opelousa City. So thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.